Okay, let's welcome former California Republican Party Chair Tom Del Belcaro back with us. Okay, you're the guy leading the charge to kick out of office Democrat California Governor Gavin Newsom. Where does that fight stand now? How many signatures do you have? Do you got the signatures? Well, I'm just one of them. But we pat well past 1.3 million. Our group alone, RescueCalifornia.org, took in 20,000 signatures yesterday. And so we need 1.495 million valid signatures. We expect to pass that uh, in the middle of February. And then we're going to keep pushing to get to 1.8 to create a cushion. So are Californians waking up saying to themselves, we don't need or have to live the way we've been living under this governor? Is that what's going on? Because now we even have Democrat state lawmakers in California saying, hey, wait a second. What is the data you're using to shut down and lock down California? You're not he's being secretive about it. What's going on there? Yeah, not seem secretive, not seem secretive. He's refusing to give it out. We have Democrats donating big money to rescuecalifornia.org. Those 1.3 million signatures are uh, lots of Democrats. In November, they turned down Gavin Newsom's policies of a tax increase, getting rid of Uber and Lyft as we know it, and cashless bail. His policies are not practical and they're not popular right now, which is why he took a big dive in the poll in the last four months. He, He, as the LA Times put it, he's plummeting. So there's blood in the water. Democrats are coming out and thinking about running. This is going to be an exciting next couple of months. And the rest of the year, the election recall election will be in August. Yeah, so he's leaving voters in the dark about what data he's using to shut down and lock down California. The administration there, Governor Newsom's administration, saying, well, voters won't understand the data when you have Silicon Valley and, you know, really smart people in California who I think could figure it out. And then you've got weird things like the California Health Department saying to restaurants in California, you're not allowed to turn on your televisions because it could attract more people to watch it and spread the virus? Is that what's... Listen, everybody knows COVID's deadly. We got to be careful. But really, you got to shut off TVs and restaurants now in California? Yeah. And what about the workers if they want to watch it? Think about their policy of having these vaccination points at Dodger Stadium. For a year, they've been telling seniors, don't go near crowds. Dodger Stadium's a crowd by definition. You're right. If they disclose this stuff, some very smart people in the state would be able to give their input and improve it. That's why West Virginia, as you remember, that governor talked about his private public partnership. We don't have that in California. We have government centric and therefore government failure on COVID, water, electricity, poverty, homelessness, on and on. Yeah. So, you know, I think, uh, you know, people are saying what a turning point was when. You know, he shut down California, shut down restaurants, then it's get, he's caught eating out at a luxury restaurant, shuts down schools, but then his kids are in private schools. I mean, California has wildfires, power shutdowns, water shortages, businesses fleeing, a $35 billion jobless benefits scandal. And uh, so, you know, California has a lot of problems to deal with, and it's an issue of leadership. Tom, take that on. Yeah. Absolutely. And now, as I predicted that we're getting close to the signatures, candidates are coming out and Californians are looking for answers, not politicians. And we will see a contrast between logical policies versus Newsom. And I expect this to go forward. And Gavin Newsom is definitely in trouble in allegedly one of the bluest states in the state, in the country. All right. Tom Doublecar, thanks for joining us with the update. It's good to see you. Take care.